Hello everyone, my name is Amit Raj and today we have with us CSC from IIT BHU. We will discuss each and everything about MTech in Computer Science from IIT BHU. So thank you so much CSC for joining us in this video. We will discuss each and everything about admission process, college life, hostel, maze, placements, everything in very detail. So thank you so much for joining us. Uh, hi Amit, hi everyone. Thank you for joining and thank you for inviting me for this talk. Okay, great. So let's start with the admission process, Jesse. How is the admission process for computer science in IIT BHU? Okay, so the admission process is similar to any other IITs. Uh, so first, uh, after the result comes out, the counseling process starts. And there you have to fill the form for IIT BHU admission. Their form will come out in individual websites. So for IIT BHU, MTech, it is mainly CSC. And under that, you have two specializations, AIT or IOT. You have to fill the form according to that and after that uh, the counselling in COAP starts. So if you... Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, great. Uh, so according to that, whatever the preference they will uh, put into the COAP, they will get the call, yeah. right? So generally, we all of us fill both AI and IOT because mm -hmm. we cannot predict what we will get initially. So generally, all of us fill both. And after that, according to rank, you will get AI and IIT, whatever comes first. Okay, great. So what is the difference between AI and IOT? So what are the like, uh, uh, major difference you can say? Yeah, okay. So AI is artificial intelligence. So it is more focused on machine learning, uh, data science and all that subject. So. Uh, we have some common subjects which is common for both AI and IoT and we have some specialization subjects which are electives. So okay. in those electives uh, for AI it will be more machine learning oriented elective and uh, for IoT it will be more oriented to like sensors, com uh, wireless communication, network protocols and all that. So is uh, one thing that comes into my mind, like if I am opting IoT, can I opt for the AI uh, like, uh, electives? If I don't, I'm not so much interested in IoT, uh, just I got IIT, BHU, IoT, so I'm taking admission, but I want to go with the electives of AI, is it possible? Uh, no, it is not possible to switch, like uh, it is fixed, like what you can choose from, there is a list. But uh, okay. I only okay. want to mention that uh, in the common subjects, there are some common machine learning subjects also. So it is not that IoT okay. people will not learn machine learning. They will also learn it, but not in that mm -hmm. much depth. Yes, yes, yeah, got it. Yeah. So yeah. So how is the course curriculum of the MTech AI or IoT in the first year or the second year? Please describe in detail. Okay. So first of all, if you go into the CSC with IIT BHU CSC, search it in Google you will come into the CSE website and you can see here all the curriculum. Apart from that, I'm just telling it uh, in an overview. Like uh, there are two semesters and in those two semesters, you will have some common subjects like uh, in first semester there will be advanced algo, then uh, network protocols, network systems. And apart, uh, apart from that, there will be specializations. Uh, there also there will be some list given to you, you have to select list uh, subject from that like we chose intelligent systems which is basically related to machine learning and you have to choose something from IoT also like whoever is opting for IoT. Okay, so for semester one I am going to tell whatever we opted in our year. So there was advanced algorithm, computer systems and uh, humanities uh, which is uh, common for all humanities is, these are co compulsory subjects i think it's introduced in IIT, all the IITs, uh, and you know two years back and uh, yeah it's just uh, IIT. <laughs> just a very basic subject and uh, there is yeah. uh, in electives there is a, a common subject so there is some common electives like data mining is common for both mm -hmm. And uh, there okay. was also the AI elective was intelligent system and for IoT people it was advanced communication and networks. Okay, okay. So IoT is basically sensor and uh, networking yeah. based and uh, AI is totally yes. AI based. Similarly in semester 2 also okay. there will be some compulsory subjects and uh, 
electives. Okay. So total four subjects are compulsory, right? For MTech or four or five? Okay, total number of subjects you are asking. Total number of subjects in semester one will be seven. Oh, seven. It's yes. Too much, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like five of them will be major and two will mm -hmm. be like you can study before exam like that. Okay, okay, like humanity and all. Huh. And uh, in semester two, there is again seven subjects, but uh, two of them are thesis. One mm -hmm. is thesis and one is some uh, viva voice. Like. Okay, okay. Got uh, got so it. it's not a separate subject. Great, great. So uh, it's uh, like uh, if we have many subjects, so then uh, you can give me a better uh, review about the professors of the AI and IoT. How are they? Are you satisfied with the professors studying like? Uh, teaching skills and all yeah the professors are quite good like uh, if you attend regularly it's good but i have to say that you have to self study also because mm -hmm. you have it's to self study <laughs> uh, your self study is needed you cannot yes. completely rely like i will do whatever in class and then i will not study it will not work okay okay wherever you go youtube will be your like uh, Haan. one Go teacher who is guiding you throughout your engineering process totally nice yeah so okay great so let's now talk about the hostels and all like uh, how many hostels for girls are there and how many hostels for boys for boys are there and which types of occupancy single doubles are available for you guys yeah so uh, hostel for girls there are four hostels currently mm -hmm. and uh, in first year you will get three sharing and in second year you will get two sharing so okay. huh. and for boys it is similar but there are 10 hostels for boys and uh, okay. similar system and it uh, changes year to year like okay. allocation changes which hostel will be there which changes from year to year mm -hmm. okay okay great great so okay so now we have talked about hostels so it's so better to discuss about mess as well like how many mess are there for all the girls and boys is that separated or it's common for the uh, like uh, yeah yeah please uh, describe in detail uh, so mess uh, is uh, separate like every hostel has its own mess so whichever hostel you are in you will get that mess and if uh, there is some one common mess like uh, there is a sattvic mess where mm -hmm. there is sattvic food which is common to all okay Okay, so wage and non wage and Jain food, everything is available there, right? Yeah, Jain food. Uh, there, that Satvik and Jain is same, I think. Okay, yeah, Satvik uh, is Jain only. Okay, I'm okay, not but. sure though. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, it will uh, be there. Right? So, uh -huh. yeah. And wage and non wage is there, so you have to pay 50 extra for non wage for every meal. Mm -hmm, okay. Uh, like it will be covered in whatever mess charges you have given. Like you don't okay. have to pay extra. Okay, great, great. So, yeah. So, are you satisfied with the food and all? Like, uh, how is the food of your meals? Uh, like, uh, this is Varanasi. So, veg is excellent. Like, you'll be very okay. satisfied with the, uh, the options is huge. Mm -hmm. And it's good quality food. But non-veg is not that good, I would say. Okay. So, are they provide the uh, uh, South Indian food as well with the North Indian? So, it's totally yeah, or it's like, totally non -veg. Yeah. Uh, South Indian food is there like on Sunday morning we get dosa and also Tuesday morning we get idli vada and South Indian food is very good and mm -hmm. there is also a separate South Indian mess also so okay. I have not tried it but maybe they give only South Indian food yeah, yeah. now I think uh, we should discuss about the coding cultures there like uh, as you are in AI and IoT if, uh, companies will come so how is the coding culture in uh, for masters basically because we take uh, it used to be so good in IITs. So how is the coding culture for masters and uh, yeah, how are things going there? Coding culture is good like uh, people are always welcome to join coding clubs and all. Mm -hmm. Like we continuously get mails for joining this club and that club. And uh, apart from that uh, among ourselves we do coding and uh, it's good. Okay, okay, so many clubs are there and the uh, uh, people are doing by their self only uh, most of the time. Okay, okay, nice. So, okay, so uh, if, uh, let's, let's discuss about the uh, internship process. Like, uh, are you guys in, allowed for the internship and uh, if allowed, you guys are allowed, so which are the top companies which are coming to IIT BHU for MTech, AI or IOT? 
so uh, internship is allowed for 2 months from may to july mm-hmm. and uh, currently the internship season is also going on for the junior okay. batch mm-hmm. and uh, major all the companies comes like uh, all the mang fang they all come in the it's and apart from that companies like qualcomm samsung texas instruments uh, there uh, are this are you talking about the internship or full time i uh, like both Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. If they get, mm-hmm. they can convert. They sometimes convert PPOs also. Mm-hmm. So. Okay. It's both. So almost yeah. all the top companies comes for the interest. Uh, yeah. And same for the full time as well, right? Yes. All the top companies come for the full time. Yes, yes. Nice, nice. So, okay. So, uh, if we talk about the like previous years, so uh, placement statics. How, what is the median or average package that the uh, uh, amateur pupils are getting there? Okay, so the last year uh, placement was really good. So, seventeen students and our seniors play sat mm-hmm. for placements. Out of that, four uh, went from for off campus placement, like uh, okay. two were govern government jobs and other okay. two went from private jobs off campus. Okay. So I'm not including mm-hmm. that in the data. For yes. on campus, uh, the median reached thirty five and the average reached twenty nine. So oh, it was quite really good. Great. So the data is really great. Thirty-five and twenty-nine. It's uh, too good. Both for it's like common. For, it's you including IoT as well, right? Yes, yes. Uh, like uh, in placement, AI and IoT is not uh, separated like that. Like uh, okay. we are CSC and place like that. Okay, no companies like are like uh, differentiating between both the branches. They no, are it is not. CSC. Uh, yeah. It is not allowed at all because uh, maybe you can mention it in your. resume that you are this specialization but okay. uh, in the system it is not uh, separated like that okay great great so its placements really good in iit bhu i think then for i am tech csc people so okay nice so okay so uh, except this so uh, like uh, is there anything that you want to add i think we have to discuss each and everything and uh, one more thing how is the Uh, there is some controversy was going on uh, before about IIT BHU campus, like it's not safe, something like this. So how uh, how is the scene right now? Is everything good now? Yeah. So uh, after that, uh, like uh, I can say that after uh, ten to five, the campus okay. remains closed. Like okay. the IIT BHU campus remains closed. Apart so from IIT that, it BHU isn't. So IIT BHU is totally like uh, uh, has separated boundary in IIT BHU. No, right? no. it is not okay. a separate boundary like uh, bhu is a campus as a whole okay uh, there is no like there is no wall between it bhu and bhu but okay. uh, uh, the gates are closed means there are temporary gates and there are guards okay. in many uh, places mm-hmm. all around there are guards and it remains closed from 10 to 5 and apart from that it is open campus and okay. i would say that the incident that happened it happened outside the campus like outside okay. itbhu campus but it was with the itbhu students so that was thing but just remain inside campus and remain with people it's fine okay okay so now everything is good all the thing uh-huh, so yeah it's good yeah okay great great i think uh, that's all i think we have discussed each and everything anything you add, want to add from your side or any a uh, suggestion for the students who are planning to get into iit bhu for the mam tech in ai or iot anything from your uh, side so it is suggestion from the next batch right so august is going yeah, on yeah yeah yes. upcoming so batch we will be taking upcoming this. batch so august is going on so i guess you are preparing for the gate exam so prepare well and uh, try to cover syllabus by september october and after that give pap- test papers and after you come into place uh, campus it's a campus is amazing so one thing i would like to add is uh, the what say sports uh, sports facilities here is uh, awesome like there are multiple playgrounds and there is a dedicated place for sport activities like i have not mm-hmm. seen a sport here that is not present here everything okay. is present okay so enjoy that also and uh, there all types of curricular extra curricular activities goes on like okay, right. today we are celebrating janmashtam today and tomorrow mm-hmm. yeah. okay so everything is there so it's great like study hard and come here definitely i think uh, that's all for iit bhu mtech ai i think we have covered all the topics and uh, and uh, at 
accept that if they will have any doubt they will comment in the uh, like video section so i'll request you sometime to visit and please answer that questions if I, i'll reach you to like if they will ask any good questions in the comment box so i think that's in the so thank you so much uh, sayashi for giving your time and uh, it will be really helpful for the students who are planning to uh, for iit bhu or any for the iit bhu or mtech ai or iot so thank you so much except that you guys if you have any questions you please drop those questions into the into the comment box and we'll definitely try to answer those questions as soon as possible so thank you so much bye bye thank you bye amit